Aloha everybody. Ooh, it is early in the morning here at uh, Honolulu's airport and we are on our way. Very excited, waiting for everybody to join us here um, to go to the ukulele time in Nashville with Jake and um, all of our friends. We have Herb Ota Jr. and Brian Tolentino, Jeff Peterson, uh, Bruce Shimabukuro, as well as of course Jake. And uh, it's just gonna be an amazing time and I'm really excited. Uh, the yeah, this is the first leg and we'll be giving you guys all kinds of behind the scenes stuff. And Craig is of course here uh, behind the camera. So we look forward to giving you more updates. All right, so two flights today, one from Honolulu to Las Vegas, uh, roughly a three hour layover and then Vegas to Nashville. Uh, weather has us flying next to some thunderstorms. Hopefully it won't be too bad. <laughs> All right, it's about 1 a.m. Just arrived here in Nashville. We're gonna grab our bags and start heading to the hotel. this or if it's this. <laughs> All right, so there was a little mix up on our room. And so for one night, they put us in a suite. So we get to join for one night and then it's off to the regular rooms tomorrow. But let me do a quick tour of this amazing suite. We're gonna try to get a good night's rest and catch up on some sleep. Yep. All right, I'll see you guys soon. See Bye. ya. How you know you're home all the sweet tea you could ever want. Thank you. All right, Bruce, what'd you get? All right, this is a chicken Alfredo with a Southwest chili chicken soup. Mm. It's good. Yes. <laughs> Tomato basil soup. <laughs> um, a beef eater sandwich with um, kale cheese. Kale, cheese, and potato chip. Don't forget your kimchi sauce. Yeah, yeah. That's um, yeah. That's a sauteed, sauteed peas and carrots. <laughs> what did you get, sir? Probably the healthiest meal of everybody. I got ham and cheese sandwich, and then the salad. Very exciting. <laughs> Better than yesterday when I ate like a giant sandwich. All right, Brian, what you got? I got the New Yorker, which is half pork, half corned beef, half pastrami. Is it like half corned beef, half pastrami, or half corned beef, half pastrami? Hey, okay, ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. On rye. Don't overthink it. Reuben, chicken noodle soup. This is this a massive salad. Everybody in the pool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's got some pasta, it's got the roast uh, peppers, olives, grapes, all kinds of stuff. Ooh. With some seafood gumbo. Nice. Yeah. Hey, aloha everyone. So happy to be here in Nashville at Jake's Ukulele Time in Nashville. I'm so excited to see a lot of great students here. People we've met before in Hawaii, but to be here in this amazing city where music is alive, it's gonna be so exciting. So I'm very grateful to Jake to be here and we're gonna have a blast. Hey, hello, my name is Brian Tolentino. I'm just happy to, um, I'm just happy to be um, bringing Hawaii 
to to all of the people here sharing our mana on ukulele and stuff. You know, the uniqueness of what we do in Hawaii, and I'm just excited about and hanging with everybody here. I'm really happy to be here. This is actually so I stopped teaching and playing music from COVID time, so a little over three years and it's my first time back doing it and I can't imagine a better way to, to come back with all these great people. Looking forward to a, a good time that we're gonna do. Uh, what's the question? Name one thing you're looking forward to this week. Food. Yes. Leah Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> um I, I'm excited to hear what everyone, you know, how everyone teaches and Looking forward to sitting in class and I gotta teach you how to be better at these interviews. Yeah, that's that's what I wanna learn. <laughs> you know, I'm just really looking forward to getting to like collaborate and hang out with some amazing people, whether it's like us the teachers or even the students, because I'm just this is our first trip off islands for three years and it's just really exciting to get to to just be around so many great folks. Well, I'm excited to hear more of Jake's dad jokes. All right, Jake, what are you, what are you looking for oh. most about this week? No, for me, I, I'm so thrilled. This is uh, my first time working with Dreamcatcher. And so when they asked me about doing this uh, this workshop, they said I could bring, um, you know, bring up, uh, what, you know, any instructors that I wanted to. So I'm just honored because this is, uh, I got to kind of assemble like my dream team, you know, people. We got Jeff Peterson, who's actually worked with Dreamcatcher before. You know, Brian Tolentino and Herb Walter Jr., they were my mentors growing up, and you know, and, and they're the ones who taught me. Um, I got my brother, Bruce Shimabukuro. You know, we grew up playing the instrument together, so we kind of share that same passion. You know, and then Craig and Sarah, you know, they've, they've been um, teaching, you know, and doing workshops longer than any of us here so you know they have so much experience you know doing all of this so to have them here and, and helping to guide and organize a lot of this stuff you know it's just been really amazing and helped help to just make everything run so smoothly and then we got Jackson Waldhaw he won't be uh, really doing any workshops but he'll be uh, you know accompanying us on a lot of the songs and the arrangements and he'll also be there for the Q&A's so I'm just, I'm really excited. I couldn't be happier and more thrilled about, um, about you know, what we're all going to experience together, you know, here in Nashville. So, um, so I'm just grateful. So thank you. Ah, tomorrow's the big day. We get to meet all of the campers. And I can already tell just like the joy is, the joy is already here in this hotel. So we're looking forward to it and we can't wait to see everyone. gorgeous day here in Nashville. Um, today is the first official day of the event. Um, we got a chance to check out the Scarrett Bennett Center. Um, we brought over a bunch of merch to get ready. Um, we're doing a bunch of sound checks tonight. We have a, a big concert that the staff is putting on. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got to see some people um, already checking in and the energy is absolutely incredible. Um, so a lot of fun things ahead. We had a chance to just hang out and play some music together. Um, we're really looking forward to this week. Okay, so this is called a Joki Day Eye Mask. And um, it works great. It's an eye mask thing. You open up and it starts heating up and moisturizing your eye for like 20 minutes. It's great for playing or if you're traveling and you're so tired, you have to sleep in a hotel room, you're just gonna want to sleep quick. It's great. Hold up for me. Nice. Thank you. It's like probably 70 cents each in Japan. Nice. Yeah.
Tonight was amazing. Oh my gosh, it was a this was a great start to an event. We had a great concert. Great concert. Dude. I mean, but we had how many students do we have? I think 108. And they built this, this small theater looking thing. It, um, you and Freight killed it. Oh, thanks, her. You guys were awesome. Thanks so much. You guys were awesome. You know, I love you, how you guys do your performances and your songs, and thanks. you're improvising, you're singing. Thanks. Craig's triple strumming <laughs> and picking with his sexy fingers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think my my highlight for the night was actually when you guys did that Kani Kapila at the end. When it was her, Brian, Jake, and Jack. And just getting to hear them just play trading fours, going through it. I mean, that was just it actually that moment I said to Craig, Oh, I miss I miss Cameron because it just makes me think of home, yeah. Getting to hear you guys. So but I think all in all, I mean oh, you can't say enough about Jeff's and Jake's performance. Uh, Dude. Let me oh. in, uh, hallelujah. Oh, chicken skin. Very, very much so. Yeah. And then Jackson Waldorf was there. Ah, Jackson like made us sound so good. They put in the low end with the bass. Yeah. Um, just uh, a great day too. I mean, it was it's just a wonderful day. And yeah. um, we had so much fun on stage. It's so, it was exhausting when we cut off. So now we're here at Five Guys. We're gonna try to eat some more because that's the theme of this trip. So great day for like first official day of camp. Yeah, Woo! I'm not having no milkshake. No Aw, <laughs> I'll share. I'll share. No, 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 no. <laughs> but looking forward to tomorrow, yep. first day of classes, and uh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's gonna be so much fun. Yep. See you guys. See you guys. Kids, Diego here. So today's lunch is, I believe it's shoyu chicken, which I don't know if the sauce is actually, you know, shoyu enough. So I added A1. Um, looks like brown rice and a roasted vegetable medley with, with some pineapple. And, uh, and then unsweet tea, because that's what we do here in the South. Actually, they do sweet tea, but I can't drink sweet tea. It would kill me. To day two of the um, workshops and we're having a blast here connecting with old friends um, making new friends and everyone sharing the same passion that we have and that's our love for the ukulele jake and sam bush put on a great concert today and q a and um, they put on a concert last night too with uh, justin kovika young and you know we're just having a great time um, it went by pretty fast because tomorrow's our last day but 
Thank you everyone for being with all of us and um, just having fun, which is what this whole week has been about. I'm Jeff Peterson. I'm here in Nashville. Jake Shimabukuro's ukulele time in Nashville. It's, it's sad, it's ending today, but we've had so much fun. And it started with me arriving at the airport on a walk and seeing such great friends with Craig and Sarah, Herb Ota was there, and Brian Tolentino. So then we got to go on this journey together, getting up here to Nashville. We get in late to this beautiful hotel. We get to hook up with Jake. Then the fun just started beginning. And every single day, morning to night, it's just been full on with music, making great friends here, meeting people from all over with mu different musical backgrounds, but we all share this great love for the ukulele. And the open mics were phenomenal. Jake's performances were some of the most inspired I've ever seen. He played with Sam Bush at the Country Music Hall of Fame Theater. And then uh, again, they played yesterday right here at uh, Vanderbilt University College, and it was just electrifying. They were having fun, and that's my favorite thing to see when musicians are just having the chance to really hang out with each other and share their mutual love for the music, and it just comes alive on stage, and it's spontaneous. And there have been so many moments like that, and just seeing just the enthusiasm and the sense of ohana that everyone has here. It's just really magical. So I am very grateful to have had the opportunity to hang with my friends, make some new friends, and celebrate music, the music we love. So it's been great. Aloha, Jake Shiobukuro here. Just, um, we're wrapping up the, uh, our event here at Ukulele Time in Nashville. And I'm just so grateful for, I mean, everyone, Craig and Sarah, Jeff Peterson, you know, uh, Brian Tolentino, Herb Walton Jr., Bruce Bukuro, Jackson Waldhoff. I mean, the, the whole uh, teaching team was just unbelievable. They were just went above and beyond, you know, to make this event so great. Everyone walked away with something very special and memorable. Um, you know, the Dreamcatcher uh, event team, they were so awesome to work with. Uh, so, so much positive energy um, and uh, so organized. I gotta say, you know, really, I mean, the people who made it so magical was just all the participants, you know, all the campers, the people who came out, just created this incredible uh, culture, you know, or, or this incredible environment, you know, of just, just uh, gratitude, you know, love, um, uh, kindness, and it was just a beautiful, beautiful experience. I'm um, so, so thankful. So thank you um, for coming out. Craig and Sarah, thanks for putting together this uh, vlog <laughs> and uh, I hope we get to do this again real soon. So thank you so much. Aloha to all of you and uh, we hope to see you again real soon. All right, it is 2.58 a.m. Um, didn't get much sleep last night, but that's okay. We have a very early flight to get to, so um, making some coffee and then heading out, meeting Herb and Brian, Bruce, and Jackson downstairs. We're gonna head off to the airport, go from Nashville to Vegas, Vegas to Honolulu. Um, just incredibly tired and exhausted, but in the best way possible. It's been a, such a great time here. All right, we're finally home after two long flights uh, getting back, but we're back home in Hawaii. Yes, and I have to say that that whole trip just filled me, well, both of us, with so much gratitude. And just, the Jake really set the tone when he stated, you know, for this, each moment only once. And you could feel that the entire time. 
and it really was at the end just so incredibly special and everybody truly did feel like we could never recreate this moment again and uh, I feel so fortunate that we had a chance to be a part of it. Yeah, I know it's been said multiple times but a huge thank you to the staff with um, Dreamcatcher oh, yeah. Events, um, Billy, Amanda, Zach, a uh, huge thank you to Van for including us. A yeah. uh, huge thank you to our, some of the special guests like yeah. Sam Bush. And Ian Tongi. It was so cool that you took the time to come say hello and hang with us. Danny, thank you so much uh, from Dreamcatcher Events. I know you weren't able to join us, but your spirit was there, so thank you. Yeah, big thank you again to the amazing crew besides, you know, of course, the most amazing Jake Shima Bakuro, but <laughs> Bruce Shima Bakuro, <sighs> Brian Tolentino, Herbert Jr., and Jeff Peterson. We love you guys. I know it's such an honor to share in this amazing event with you. Um, and again, a huge thank you to all of the participants that yep. really allowed themselves to be so vulnerable during this trip and, and to gain as much as they could. It, you could see that progression happen in real time throughout the week and it was such an amazing uh, journey to be on with you. And as I said, the final day, this event couldn't have happened without all of you, the participants. Uh, you are what truly made the event incredibly special and we are so grateful. You know, for us, it was a really good reminder of how much we love to do this and why we do this. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>